So Austin just got back from the hospital and he was like, hey guys, could I, I, I could use your help. It's like, okay, we, we totally understand. So we got a 9410RN and I figured, man, this would be the perfect tractor uh, to help Austin with. Also, he's got our 9900i chopper running uh, that we're letting him basically a long-term demo because he's having issues right now. Uh, if you don't know what those issues are, go watch last video, you'll understand. Uh, but anyways, then we got the Joskin from the dealership too, because we are a Joskin dealer. So this is gonna work pretty good, I think. The only thing is, is this only does 25 mile an hour. And I'd like to, if I if I ran an 8R, I could get the 8R going 32 mile an hour, which would be kind of nice, because we have some road travel. So I had to top this off with some def here, and I just went inside and grabbed some def. We just, basically it's gonna get me by for today, the amount of def I put into it. We need a lot more, because they only sell little jugs. So Austin's farm is right here. I think we're gonna chop here and then we may also move to another farm. But anyways, guys, I just gotta say, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy the role play, please hit the like button. It helps out the video a ton. And uh, throughout this silage, silage, har silage harvest, chopping, I think there's a lot of different terms people use. And to be honest, I'm not familiar what the best term to use would be, but I think I'm gonna call it silage harvest. I apologize if it's kind of a, a weird or cringy term for those of you guys who actually know what the best term is. And there he is. Man. It's good to see him walking. And then I think I gotta give Jake call, but I think Jake's coming too. What the heck are you doing on my property? Hey, Austin, you must, do they still got you on painkillers? You must be a little, you're a little loopy there. Um, what the heck but, are you not? How'd surgery go, dude? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? It's All right, harvest, well, I, I'm, I'm just saying you, you guys try to start any more rumors like that. You said All Jim saying, started it. I I, I'm saying Tim started it. Okay. I, I don't even okay, know. Okay. I'm Tim. saying Tim started it, but you guys carried it on and how re it, it's very, uh, very ridiculous. Yeah, that is true. Tim, I should have thought have been having something yeah. to drink. Okay. Well, I, I beat, I beat Tim in the farming tournament and Tim's been, Tim Tim's been salty. Tim James. All right, well, uh, well, let's right, get okay, her whatever. fired let's, up, let's man. Let's going. get her going. Let's keep going. We, got, we don't got time for this. We gotta get this done. Of course. All right, so Grant, I assume you'll be first in line, and then once you fill up, I'll uh, pull in behind, right? Yes, yes, that'll work good. You, okay. are you gonna get stuck with that semi? Better be Possibly. careful. She's a little I slick mean, out there. You know my track record in semis, so. <laughs> True. Hey, yes. we got the 9410R. Uh, Austin's probably got a chain in his cab or somewhere around here uh, that we could use. Maybe a little what? <laughs> <laughs> So you're, you're still gonna carry that, aren't you? It's, it's not over, is it? Not over, is it? But other than that, we should be good. I think we'll be covered. We have a chain. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Let's get going, boys. Austin, you all there on the CB? Yeah. Okay. I'll be riding your tail. Man, dual exhaust straight piped on that 9900. That looks good, Austin. Holy crap. We're rolling, boys. Salvage is starting. Man, this takes some skill right here. Holy crap, bubbles. Oh shoot, we rolling, you we're skill, rolling. Huh? There we go. Trying not to take out this corn. I'm taking out real corn, Austin, is that cool? That's It's fine. the only way we can do it, man. Ah, oh, man, I hate doing this. It's corn, not a big deal. There we go, we're rolling. Boys, I am glad we added at least one tractor for this, because if we had a semi, this might be kind of, actually a semi would be a little more narrow, but it'd be tough making some of these turns here. You think? Well, things are going to get real interesting here in a second, then. Yeah, I'm about 75% full, so Jake, if you want to pull up here behind me, we get going. It'll be a little easier because we got the headlands complete. Alrighty. So, uh, I think I'm going to have to pay Tim a visit after uh, the stuff, kind of a little bit of stuff he started. Austin, what do you want to take down now? Uh, You're just gonna cut it. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut around. Get it off to the side. Hey, Austin, does that uh, does that header fold? Yes, it does. How narrow are you gonna be able to get through your fence to get to your to your oh, half over there? Right. Easily. I've gotten big four wheel drives through there before, so do okay. it again. We're rolling good, boys. Looks good. Okay, Austin, I'm 100% full. I gotta pull off. Jake, right. if you wanna take over. Yep, I'm right just you. Okay, I'm just gonna pull around through the field then. So where are we trucking this to, guys? Where do I gotta go? Co-op. Co-op, okay. You're still at the co-op? They're charging you a fee? No, because me and Jake are partners. Oh, okay, okay, that's right, that's right. I totally forgot about that. How fast are you guys filling up? Like, is seem to be yielding pretty good? Because it doesn't give me a yield. Well, I got about 18 tons in here. That's all I can really give you for info right now. Um, just about three tons already. So we are in a rush to get to the co-op quick, drop this off, and then get back. Now the one thing I was thinking about doing is putting an 8R on here instead of an 8410. Uh, because, first of all, I'm not a big fan of the articulated, like articulated, swerving all over the road like a little snake. It's a little rougher. 
Um, second of all, this only does 26 mile an hour. She has some horse behind her. She for for her horse, but she'll only do 25 mile an hour. So if we had an 8R, we could do almost 32 mile an hour. And that may that six mile an hour difference may just be enough to where we can keep Austin rolling full time instead of having to wait for me to get back. Now, believe it or not, I actually own this field here. If you guys remember last time, we did not get any chance to plant it was raining so we took insurance on this field this may be a tad illegal fraud kind of to cut across this field because if i had crops on this field i wouldn't be cutting across this field but since i took insurance this year cutting across the field because this is our field here now having another semi would be a heck of an idea right now but we don't have we didn't have another trailer that's the thing we'd have to buy a trailer and I had these already, so I was like, okay, I'll just use tractor for now. It would be nice if we had a couple more tractors rolling, but it's only me and Jake doing a lot of the hauling. And I'll probably get some time in my chopper too, or Deer's, Deer Country's chopper that we're demoing, just so I can get some use out of there too. Okay, I gotta figure out where this pit is. Okay, and here's the pit we're dropping off at. Perfect. So I'm gonna lift her up, and it should be going. I don't know the best way to just, I think I'm gonna just spread it like this, and eventually we'll compact over it. This 9410 is actually a good gonna be a good compacting tractor because i don't know if they even have one there we go let's head back austin yeah, good buddy I'm you there oh sorry jay yeah. go ahead oh no no go ahead i was just continuing our conversation about buck is, is all go okay ahead. i was gonna ask austin do you have a pickup truck i could borrow at your house i was thinking right now this 9410 it's just a little slow it's something i wasn't really thinking about the best i thought we'd have enough people but man having a tractor that does six mile an hour more wouldn't be a bad idea right now so i was thinking about going get one of our 8r demos I'm basically at Deer Country, I'm going to demo a 6R, 7R, 8R, 9R, and 9RX. No more, gotcha. we're not going to have two 8Rs, but I have an 8R that hasn't been used yet for demo. So I was going to grab that. Would that be cool? Can I steal your truck? Yeah, um, you don't wet yourself when you get into Fords, right? I do not. I do not. Yeah, just making sure. Making yes. Sure. But Fords yeah, are pretty. If yep. you end up needing a semi, I, uh, I can give Stevie a call and see if he's done servicing the Mac, but I doubt he's done servicing it yet. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, I, I, see, I kind of like running a tractor. So if we were yeah. a little closer, it'd be really nice running a tractor. So I was going to try to get that 8R. Sounds like a plan. Boys, I'm rushing back. No cop, no stop. Yeah, the difference six mile an hour mix is huge. Uh, this is going to be nice. It's going to be nice having an 8R. I think we got the aerodynamics. I got the front end lifted down. Maybe get pull 33 mile an hour. What took you so long? You see a case? Uh, no, I had to put all these duels on this 8R because it just, it, when it came off the truck, we didn't even put the duels on. So I had to get another set of 480s, have Jimmy get her done. And uh, Jimmy was like a pit crew, you know, uh, in second place. She was trying to get first. She was racing. She was rushing. So I'm on my way now, though. Austin, if you want, I don't know if you guys want, but you guys can probably hop in that, that 9R quick and get a load hauled if you guys want. I don't know if you guys know how to operate or not, but... Uh, we're going to be switching fields here in a minute. Oh, you guys got that done already? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. We have the other half to do, don't we? Yeah, we got the other half. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The other half of that field. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Jake, you might want to flip around here. I got those little uh, pieces that I missed. Copy. Go on ahead. I'll stick behind you. All right. Oh, there's two cases. Austin, don't go by the county line dealership. Uh-huh. We're uh, moving. We're almost there. So as far as road travel and handling, an 8R is, I, I just, I, I'm not a big fan of the articulate. Don't get me wrong. It's nice when you're pulling tillage to have articulated, but when you're really doing a lot of road travel, I don't really like it. Okay, I got the 9R unhooked. So now I just got to hook up the 8370R. I have the front end lowered when we're doing road travel. And then once I get in the field, we'll probably raise it up. Now the 8370R is pretty similar on horsepower. So I think we'll be, I think we'll be good. If the 9R handles it, this, it, maybe it's a little lighter tractor. Other than that, horsepower is pretty much the same. I think we'll be fun. And there those guys are. Can't see Jake, but I can see Austin. Man, I'm really rough on this demo, dude. Oh my gosh, the first hour put on it is going to be rough. We're driving through a ditch. Y'all got a tow chain? Oh, oh really, Jake? Oh, he's stuck. In a hole. He's stuck. In a hole. Oh. Shoot, we better stop. I'm fully loaded too, so it's just sunk into oh, a hole. Good grief, Jake. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, Jake, if you're, what I could do is I have weights in the front, and if you don't mind me scratching up your bumper back here a little bit, I could definitely give you a push. It's not gonna, as long as I'm not shoving that tractor through the, your rear end, uh, we should be good. But as, those weights there, those won't scratch up my tractor at all. So if, if you're cool with that, I could do something like that. Yeah, 
I'm cool with it. If it damages it, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll tell Buck. Or we could get the, I got the 9R sitting on the side. That beast would pull you out in a second. That We got the Forge Harvester, we're fine. What, what are you gonna do with the Forge Harvester? Dude, it's got a, it's got a hitch on it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, let's get a chain then. The thing's, the thing's gonna be more powerful than your four wheel drive. Austin, you got a chain in the cab, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, pull her out. Here, give me the chain. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. Dude, well, uh, are you sure you got to pull out your trailer? She looks a little sideways. Okay. We're on, the truck's on solid ground now, so. Okay, we got to find a way to get you out of here, though. Are you just yeah, going to follow us through the fine. field? Yeah, will be fine. I have to. Like, if I back up, I'm going to get stuck again. So. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah just follow right, let's us. Go. Let's go, Grant. Hurry up. Hurry your butt up. That's Buck's corn. You're fine. I'm going to follow your exact path there, Grant. So if you see any big hit holes or anything, let me know. Okay. This is tight. Oh, this might be an opening for... Yep. I might be able to squeeze out right here, maybe. I got about 20% storage left in here, man. We're running a little tight. Right. And man, I'm about to take out this good. fence, too. There she is. There's the opening. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a little tight for me. Come on, let's steer. There we go. Crank her back. We made her. Jake, are you going to make uh -huh. it through there? <laughs> Y'all be... I mean, this is a short trailer, but no. I might not. Uh, you can always just turn and then back, back up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm off. I'm going to get a head start on Jake. That way I can hopefully get back before him. But he may beat me because he's running a semi here. But I'm going to try to beat him there. The only thing is we're having a little tough time getting up to speed. Uh, there we go. We're at 32 mile an hour. But it does take a while to get to 32 mile an hour. Usually it's 20, 25 mile an hour. And then it takes, you know, uh, about 15, 20 seconds to get up to that 32 mile an hour. Going up this hill, probably lose some speed. Now I am cutting across my field again, and she's still. Oh, we dropped it. We dropped one mile an hour, but wow, we're pulling up a little grade there, and she's still pulling 32 mile an hour. The 8370R. This is a nice piece of equipment. Now when Jake dumped his, he didn't pull through, so what I'm gonna have to do is just. I think I guess we're just stacking it up, which will be fine. Back her up here. Keep pulling forward slowly, but this is the way to do it, I guess. And there we go. We're rushing back, and I think. That's Jake pulling in just on time. Oh, he's going to have a tough time getting through there. Oh, darn. He's going to be in for awakening. Austin, do you oh, want to yeah. run the 8370R I got here? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'd like to put in just some time on that 9900 just so I can get a good feel for her. Be careful there. She's got a lot of power. What I'm usually doing is running 16th gear, uh, and she'll do 32 right. mile an hour. She doesn't have a problem going up any hills, so uh, she's smooth. Be careful. She's a speed demon. Okay. This is actually going to work out good for timing because uh, I'm unloading Austin right now. By the time he's full, I think we'll be good to go with you. Awesome. One thing I didn't take into account, I should have told one of the workers here at the co-op to stay around to try and uh, flatten out that silage pit a bit because I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to dump into it with the semi. Yeah, do you guys have a, a tractor for that? Uh, we... Uh, we have the 9RX. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that 9RX will do uh, do damage to that pile then. Perfect. That'll work good. Because I was going to say we have the 94, I have the 9410 just sitting here at Austin's place. But uh, yeah, if you have the 9RX, 9RX, you guys are good. You been considering putting duels on that 9RX? Excuse me? I'm just curious. Duels? Duels. Austin, how much room do I got left in there? Uh, we're about a halfway. Okay. I'm full, by the way, Grant. Okay, perfect. Jake, where you at, honey? I'm lonely. I'm sitting here by myself. <laughs> I'm fighting some train tracks at the moment. Okay. All right, fellas, I'm pulling into Austin's right now. All right, what kind of damage you boys do to this silage pile? Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Well, that's that's reassuring, I guess. They're like minimal compaction. Though. And yeah. there's my date for 10 minutes. You come here often? I do. What kind of silage slang is that? It's not a slang. We're going on a date. You got a problem with this? Uh, no. No, not at all. Congrats, Grant. You actually got a, a, <laughs> a person that you, you, that you call a friend. Harsh. Harsh coming from bladder man. Oh, wow. Wow. I did, did those words coming out of my mouth? Oh, How close are we, Jake? Mouth. I'm breaking up with you, Jake. We're full. Obviously, I'm, I'm driving away. Uh, I got another girl coming. Her name's Aust Austina. Austina. Hold on, you're cheating on me? Austina, I'm lonely <laughs> over here. I don't appreciate this. Sounds uh, Latina. Well. All you did is replace the A with an L and call it Latina. <laughs> <laughs>
It definitely does not sound Latina, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> not I even close. I don't know. It just sounds like an. I don't. Okay, no comment. I don't know. Give me a date. Hey, y'all, I'm rolling out. Did you take half of everything you owned? Ah, uh, the settlement's still not. Gotcha. I think I have to sue this man for emotional damages, to be honest with you. <laughs> I did not. There we go. Pull up alongside me. What we're going to do is we're going to head back and forth here. Figure we got enough room there on the headlands. We should be good. Getting lonely yet, Grant? I am. Yeah? Sad. Yeah. They always run on back, though. That's what I've learned over so? the years. Where are you at roughly here? Uh, just keep coming, take a right, and you'll see me. You're gonna have to pull a Yui quick, though. Ah, uh, y'all turned around on me. All right. Will do. Yeah, I did some damage before I left. Yeah. Let's turn before that drop off where I got stuck. All right, I'm in line. I thought I almost did enough damage that uh, you wouldn't want to come back, but uh, I guess you did. She's back. She always comes back. Well, maybe I'm on my way back. Oh gosh, we can't have two girls at the same time here. That's it's not gonna work out. You got yourself into this mess. You got yourself into this mess. You're gonna get yourself out of it. I'm genuinely shocked at how long it's taken us to do this little field. Yeah, you guys were all like, oh, it's so small. It's gonna be such a small field. You ever been to Hazard, Grant? I've been to Hazard a couple times. Yeah? Yep. Well, I've been hey, up there a couple times as well. We went together, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Pick Forgot up that old dump that. truck. And then I was yeah, up there. Right. Let's see. I was up there t t with Buck, actually. I was up there with Buck, and we were, bu we were buying uh, sprint cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Sprint cars? Yep. Yeah. Buck said something about you getting into racing, too, Jake. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm what, just waiting for mine to get done. At? Well, <laughs> the county fairgrounds is building a track, I hear, so... We're going to race oh, there, really? and then there's a couple of races all across uh, the Midwest, pretty much. Oh, heck yeah. Tell me when y'all are going to go racing. I'll hop in, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sign up for the race with you. Definitely. Well, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. It was some true farming. We were just out there joking around, messing around, uh, and just uh, cut, cutting uh, and chopping silage, pretty much. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, smash that like button, and hey... I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.